Hello, today I'm sharing the double ponytail with flat twists for this leveled up sporty hairstyle for curly hair and we'll show you how it looks on both tight curls and loose curls too. Hello, this is April with The Curl Story, a channel dedicated to curly styling and today my daughter is here with me to show our favorite sporty hairstyle and to get started you'll see that I've sectioned it into four different parts. And the bottom section is a little bit above the ear, so we have enough room to do a flat twist there. I'm securing the top sections of our hair with our alligator clips or styling clips, and I'll link the information on those below. And then we'll get started on the simple flat twist. So these are just very basic. With one hand, I'm just twisting the hair in, and then with my other hand, I'm just smoothing down and tucking it in. And I am going, trying to go straight back so that the ponytail will be sort of at the center of the back of her hair but of course depending on your hair length your head shape you can adjust the positioning of where you want your double ponytails to be so we're going to have one ponytail on the bottom with these twists coming together and then another ponytail right above it and the twists are going to add that beautiful detail to really level up the basic ponytail look and for my hair since I don't have a lot of volume what I love is that this double ponytail makes my hair look longer and it's also much more comfortable because all of my hair the weight of all of my hair isn't in one ponytail it's separated into two and now on to the top section. This is where you can really get creative, but we're gonna keep it simple here with our hair just parted down the center. And I'm just doing a simple twist here. And I am starting at the center and sort of moving my way out so it creates a bit of a V shape at the top. And then when I gather it together at the crown of her head, it's going to look like a little diamond shape pattern. And just add that bit of detail to this ponytail look to really level it up. I'm using these alligator styling clips throughout the process because they are just perfect for holding the hair as my extra set of hands until I'm ready to secure it all in place with hair bands. And I'll link below the hair bands that I'm using for this particular look. For my daughter's hair, I'm using really thick uh, hair bands because they're easy to put in. They're really soft and comfortable on my hands. And they're also easy to remove. They slide right out without getting super tangled in her hair. And then I'm able to wet her hair in the morning for a simple refresh, retwist, and put the ponytail bands back in. The ponytail bands really make a difference in styling because in particular these really hold her hair in place while being comfortable. As you'll see I tried using some different hair bands on my own hair and they just didn't stay in place. I had some sagging issues and they just would not get as tight and stay in place so it's really a matter of comfort for you whatever your favorite hair bands are definitely use those i'm showing a coily band here which i always love it is a bit of a gentler hold they do work really well but they don't um, secure your hair in a really tight um, position so that's just something to think about whatever you choose now here I'm showing how I did not make a strong part line for this top section of my hair. I just sort of loosely took the sides and started twisting away and then I'll just do some finishing touches when I get there because my hair is already dry and my hair is already set into its curl clump so if I try to section it now then I'll probably create some frizz as I'm separating those curls. So I just wanted to try to leave them intact and just go with their natural pattern at the moment. And then I secured it loosely with this coily band. So when I turn, you can still see that I have that part line, but then as I was doing my finishing touches here to try to just soften that top look, I lost the line on the side. So that's just from sagging. So what I could do is just change my 
ponytail bands to really lift that top section higher so it would stay. I also needed to lift the bottom section. So don't be afraid of doing some adjustments. It's all part of the learning process. It doesn't mean you failed. It just means that you're learning what works best for your hair and perfecting your technique as you keep practicing each hairstyle. So even with my daughter's hair today, I wanted to raise that bottom ponytail a little bit higher. So here with the different color bands, you can really see they're not exactly right on top of each other there is some spacing there but with her hair being really long the spacing worked out best and created a beautiful cascading look and then for the finishing touches i didn't put anything extra on my daughter's hair because hers was freshly washed and already had gel applied and since i was manipulating my dry hair so much i did add some hairspray to just tuck everything back in place so here is the finished look of my daughter's hair you can see the middle part with the twists and then also the side twists detail that really level up the average ponytail so i hope you enjoyed this look let us know if you tried it out for your sporting events we love it for soccer basketball dance or just a day at the park we thank you so much for watching please hit that subscribe button for new videos every week we'll see you next time